Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL source control video, where we'll show you how to review revision history and how to compare specific versions of an object and apply it against a database. The revision history is a feature that does not depend on the specific source control implementation, but it is the same across all source control systems natively supported by Apex SQL source control. For the purpose of this video, we'll have a sample database linked to a subversion repository and the following changes are committed one after another. Initial commit of all database objects. Added the discount column to the product table. Created a new table, currencies, containing three columns. Renamed the name column inside of the currencies table to currencies name. Let's make one additional change that will not be committed. For example, let's add one more column to the person table. To review the history of committed change sets, we'll right-click on a linked database from the context menu and choose the Project History option. The Project History form shows all commits made against a database. The upper left section of the Project History form shows a list of all committed change sets, followed by the exact date and time of the commit, as well as the exact user who performed the commit. The list can be sorted by any of the existing columns. We can easily switch the order of the listed commits by just clicking the Version or Date column header. The upper right section shows all objects that are committed within a single change set, highlighted on the left side. For instance, if we highlighted the change set 6, the right side shows the objects committed in the change set 6. Besides the list of objects committed in the highlighted change set, the right side shows the exact action performed against each committed object. For instance, Based on the icons in the Action column, we can determine if an object is committed to the repository for the first time, presented with the plus icon, if an existing object on the repository is being modified, presented with the pencil icon, or an object is removed from the repository, presented with the red cross icon. Highlighting any object from the specific change set shows the exact SQL script of an object in the Differences section on the right side. In this case, the right side of the Differences panel shows the version of the Currencies table from Change Set 3. The SQL script from the right side of the Differences section can be compared to any other version of the same object from any other change set, and also with the current version of the object in a database using the drop-down list. For instance, let's highlight the initial commit, Change Set 1, and find the Person table using the filter row. Now that we have the version of the person table from the initial commit, by default it will be compared with the version of the person table from the database. Since we have just changed the person table, but never committed that change, the Differences section shows that the version in a database is changed from the initial version of the person table that was committed. In case we want to apply a version shown on the right side, we'll just need to click on the Get button, which will initiate the Apply Changes form. The Apply Changes form will show the exact SQL script that will be performed against a database, as well as any warnings and a list of sequences. We can open the script in a new query window using the Open button, as well as save it for later usage using the Save As button. Clicking the Apply button executes the SQL script against a database and performs another comparison after that, all inside the Project History form. Navigating to the same object again, in this case, the person table. There were no differences between the version from the selected change set and the version in a database. This way, any changes previously committed can be compared to any existing revision or to a version of an object in a database, and applied directly from the project history form. Other than the project history form, the similar one exists on an object level, the object history form. To initiate the Object History form, right-click any object of a linked database in the Object Explorer pane. Select the Object History option. This initiates the Object History form, which is the same as the Project History form. The difference is the Object History form shows only change sets that contain a selected object. In this case, only two change sets will be shown. Since we have committed the Product table, along with the rest of the objects, in the initial commit, Change Set 1, and made another change to the product table committed in Change Set 2. 
Using the object history form, we can isolate the history of the specific object and work with the revisions that contain the specific object without the need to filter the entire history. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.